all right guys so we left here uh, we created this default route and printed this message and we also uh, integrated this reload functionality reloading the browser page and restarting this server whenever any file gets changed so now we need to create our data json object and from that data uh, we can create further routes and print the data in our browser so let's get started and i'm going to create a new folder inside my app and i will right click app and create a data folder and inside the data folder i will create a people.json file and i'm gonna copy a random data in this file you can create your own data or you can pause this video and rewrite this data uh, of people inside this object we have the people's array and each people has id first name last name and email address all right so let's save this file and you can see our server has been restarted and let's go and there is no error hello world is being printed now let's import this data the people.json file in this app.js file in order to import it i will create a new variable and require and i will write comma forward slash data forward slash and that is people.json all right server has been restarted and there is no error means this file has been imported successfully now uh, i will leave this default route as it is uh, and instead i will create a new route where i will print the people's data okay so after this forward slash i will write people and let's change the message here welcome to our site all right and inside my people's route i need to fetch the data from this file and show all the people in the list form okay and you can see there are four people right now in this array so uh, let's go to app.js and inside it uh, i will create a new variable people and this is an empty string at start and i will write data dot people dot for each function item and inside it i will append this data like this and inside it we have let's say first of all we need to have and h1 and inside it we need to print an id like this so item dot id and close the h1 element and after that let's print the name so let's use h3 element and item dot first name i think this is the property name this is the first name last name and email okay let's use the curly braces here and just after that i will print the last name and close the h3 element and at the end let's print the email address within the paragraph element and i will use the same syntax item dot email and let's close the paragraph element so we have constructed our info variable and it is going to iterate through all the items that are within this people array it is a people right here and after that we need to send this whole people variable actually this is not info this is the people okay so after that we need to send out that variable okay so in order to send that variable i will use the same syntax like this and people okay so let's reload this 
page and go to our browser you can see welcome to our site because this is the default route in order to see all the people in our people route we need to navigate to the people route okay so in our browser after this route let's write people and press enter and you can see this is the id this is the name first name and last name and this is the email address so we have fetched the data from our json file and after that we printed the data in this form this is not a pretty good looking uh, we can design it later on but right now i just want to show you how to get the data and print the data uh, using different routes okay so now let's add another route and in that route i need to fetch the data of specific people like in the route i will send out the id number this these are the ids and our route will show us that specific person that belongs to that particular id so let's copy this one let's set semicolon here and paste it and in order to change it i will write forward slash colon and people id okay and we can get the id of this particular person uh, from this request object okay so i will write person let's write item and inside it i will use data dot people and this is the array and i will fetch the id from here okay so request dot params dot and whatever we write here we need to use this variable in order to get the id so i'll copy this one and paste it okay so we have fetched the particular person that belongs to that particular id so rather than going through and iterating through all the items of the array i need to remove this process and remove this empty string as well and from within this one i just need to use the item let's copy everything from above and paste it right here okay so using that item variable we are fetching the id of that particular person first name and the last name and after that we are fetching the email and we need to write this reload uh, this is pretty hectic uh, i will uh, automate this one as well but right now uh, you must add this uh, reload script statement uh, in order to reload the page and restarting the server so let's save it and go to our browser you can see all the people are being shown and after that let's add two okay so you can see uh, this one has been shown now the problem is that array starts from zero and our ids are being started from one okay so in order to resolve this problem we can do it in various ways uh, uh, we can also change the ids and starting from zero one and two but we don't want to change this json file instead we need to change here i'm gonna write minus one here so if we hit the url with the id one that is going to be changed to zero so zero uh, means that the this array having the item that belongs to the zeroth index okay so the first one will be fetched all right so let's save it and go to our browser and you can see if i write two it is returning the second object okay means that means that uh, if it is two that will be deducted with one and the second item of that array that belongs to the second index will be returned and shown right here and if i if i change the one and it will return me the first person from that array all right so that's pretty much it for this video uh that was just to show you how to create different routes but uh let's say that we have bunch of routes in our file we don't want to create all the routes within this one single file we need to create a proper structure uh proper folders and files uh, that we can manage in order to create routes so in the next video i will create a specific structure uh, for these routes and use these routes using that 
a specific route structure so stay tuned make sure you subscribe our channel and make sure you hit the like button if you like this video comment below if you have any question and make sure uh, i gave the link of a book amazon book that is uh, really recommended for you guys if you want to learn node and express in depth make sure to check out that book in description below and buy that book if you want to learn more thanks